What do chess and tic-tac-toe have in common? Well, basically nothing. But they both use a grid of squares, and they are both turn-based games. So what if we did something with that? This is an idea that I've had for a while, but I haven't been able to find time to add it to Deckmate. In fact, I still haven't found the time, so the game we're playing in this video is just a prototype. I was only able to find one example of this combination being tried before, and this is actually a pretty interesting game, but the chess mechanics aren't quite what I had in mind. My concept is simple in theory, but much more complicated in practice. Tic-tac-toe chess is played using a grid of nine 5x5 chess boards using the Gardner mini chess setup. The boards are completely independent from one another, and all rules of standard chess apply to each board, including castling and double pawn moves. The catch is that you're only allowed to make a move on one board per turn, so in isolation, you could be making several moves in a row on one board while your opponent is doing the same on another. Originally, the only way to win a board was to capture the king, but we quickly realized that there is no reason not to call the board completed after checkmate is played. However, the king is allowed to remain in check if the player finds a more important move on another board. And obviously, the goal of the game is to win three boards in a row, completing a tic-tac-toe. As I said, this game mode is a prototype, so I don't have an exact estimate on when this will be coming to Deckmate. This game was literally played by sending images of the position to Toggled on Discord and recording the moves that he sent back. Part of that was because he was away from his computer at the time, but I digress. The games got pretty interesting. I'm still tinkering with the rules, so if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I think an obvious idea is to add some kind of bughouse mechanics, but I'd have to make sure I can do that without making the game too confusing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the games. All right, so here's the board. Again, you can move on any of the boards, but you have to pick one per turn. I think I want to start on the central board. It just seems the best. So let's do, I don't know, how would I get my queen out the best? Maybe that's not what I want to do. Maybe I, like maybe this move, preparing something like this or like, I don't know. It's interesting. Okay, let's just try this. I'm gonna go here. Okay, so toggled captures with his bishop's pawn in the center. Now I think I wanna go here. Looks like we're just gonna be playing on the central board for now, although maybe I have time to play a move somewhere else. Let's see, maybe just to keep things complicated, uh, probably a corner would be good. So maybe this move. I'm not sure exactly if this does enough, but yeah, I guess let's just, let's just go for it. So let's push here. Okay, so Toggle just pushes his knight's pawn on the central board. I can't quite do anything up here. Although now this and then... Oh, but then after... Yeah, that wouldn't quite work. So I have to be careful there. If I can push here... No, this doesn't quite trap the queen. This would either trap or force promotion. Interesting, okay. Let's maybe push then. Yeah, this looks... Decent. Yeah, let's push. Okay, so Toggle takes the pawn with his pawn. So if I take here, that could be bad. I think I'll have time to set up a defense if I take with knight first. That threatens the queen. He can't really put me in too much of a danger, at least not right away. All right, yeah, so let's take with knight. So now we're attacking his queen. Also, I didn't really think about, maybe it would have made sense to just not take, although it could have gotten pretty dicey. All right, so Toggle takes with his knight. Now I guess I have to take with pawn. Now I have some interesting ideas with potentially this. Toggle goes here with his queen. Okay, so I'm completely blocked there now. I think I still wanna go here. Okay, so this could be really bad actually. So if I go here, then here, I'd have to probably go here to save this. So let's do that. So let's move our bishop here. Okay, so Toggle takes this pawn, which I wasn't really thinking about. This is pretty dangerous. So if I take here, I'm not really threatening anything. I'm not in check, but obviously this is a problem. Let's probably just take it so that we're threatening now. Queen takes, and we have a chance to push this with check. Potentially, uh, it couldn't quite be checkmate, but it could be soon. Yeah, so let's just take with queen. Uh, I kind of almost want to go here with the knight, because then I can do this, trapping the queen. That's an interesting idea for sure. All right, so toggle takes with the queen. Of course, we have to take back. So now my threat's pretty clear on this middle board. But this would be not quite checkmate. So toggle attacks my bishop here. Let's see. I can still push with check, although that is coming. Oh, sure. Yeah, actually, that doesn't work at all. Uh, we have to just go out, like, come here then, I guess. But then we're forked anyways. Wow, this is really bad. Maybe I just take this chance to go here, trapping the queen up here. Something about that seems right. Let's just do this. Okay, so Tagled finally moves off of the main board, or off the central board, rather. Captures with his bishop's pawn once again. I think we can just take here. This opens this up, which is really, really dangerous for him. Yeah, let's do this. So the central board's kind of in a weird spot now. Yeah, I think he's promoting and practically winning this board pretty soon, but I do have this. So I'm gonna have to be really careful not to let him get... I don't know, he has so many options after getting that central board. Okay, so Toggle takes now with his pawn, and I think this is, oh wait, wow, I was not realizing that this doesn't work. So I have to take with pawn first, and I think that's still good for me. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take this. So the current situation is like really bizarre. As I said earlier, Toggle has a like a free win here, but when he pulls a trigger, who knows? And I can just keep making things complicated elsewhere. Okay, so now Toggle finally decides to take my bishop. I think I go for the checkmate. Yeah, let's just move the queen here. This should be unavoidable. Okay, so he takes and promotes 
promotes to a queen. And of course, I'm just gonna take this king. So this is officially my board. I'm gonna go ahead because uh, promotion code's a bit broken. I'm gonna borrow the queen from the board that's finished for this promotion. There we go. So now Toggle is like guaranteed to win this board. It's not quite mate in one. Okay, actually there is mate in one in this position. He plays rook takes on. So now I definitely shouldn't make a move on this board because it's all but over. Let's see where else I can make a move. Maybe try to get the same thing going on a different board. Although I know Toggle's going to be trying really hard to defend because he's winning my king whenever he wants to, basically. At some point I could make a move to force him to take my king, but that's not really useful. So we can basically consider this board done. Let's try the same opening over here on this board. Let's go here. And I am curious to see if he's going to take my king right away. Okay, so Toggle pushes his bishop's pawn once again here. Let's see, it's a bit weird. Taking here wouldn't be smart. I can afford to just let him chill there. So let's move on a different board now. Let's try maybe the same thing. I probably shouldn't have. I should be worried about boards that I can actually make a tic-tac-toe with. So I'm gonna have to worry about these. So I don't know, maybe the bishop's pawn's a good first move to make. Uh, it is defended by a knight. Could even get some kind of fianchetto going. That wouldn't be nearly as easy otherwise. We have the advantage of first move here. So that bishop could get towards the king maybe. Let's try this. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, now Toggle takes with his queen's pawn up here. So let's do that and then this is interesting again i if i do this i'm potentially losing a queen uh not not losing it but forcing my king out which could be dangerous could also be kind of drawish and i need this board to go my way what if i push and takes 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 takes. Uh, I can't play this check, so maybe not that. I say, let's just take with this pawn. That gets us this diagonal, potentially. All right, yeah. Yeah, so let's take with the knight's pawn. All right, of course, he takes with the pawn. Now we have a decision to make, which to take with, or if I want to take it all, but I think I do. I think the knight's better, because at the very least, well, he's almost guaranteed to take here. Then I can pin it, which could be interesting. Let's try this. And of course, the pin technically isn't actually a pin, because the goal is to capture the king. So yeah, let's just take with the knight. Okay, toggle takes back with the knight, and I think I do want to play this move. I think that's what I'm going to do you could defend with the bishop then i have this okay so toggled now deciding to move up here on this board i'm not sure what to do about this pin because you could just block honestly with either of these but obviously probably the bishop and there's not a ton for me to do i could attack here but that would just allow this and i don't know if i'm winning that game super easily not having the knight kind of sucks but what are you gonna do um, maybe i respond over here by pushing this pawn that would allow this check to come through i'm not sure if that's the best idea but it's something I could also maybe go here with the rook. That seems like it could work. The idea obviously being to take. Yeah, so I'm worried about this, this takes and probably takes. Then actually I could, no, it's not so simple. Although this would put the king in check and I could pin the queen. Yeah, let's just take this actually. I think we have a good line here. Okay, so he does block with his bishop. Now I think I wanna take here. Actually, I didn't think about if queen takes first. So maybe that wasn't the best idea. Maybe if we go here with the queen, I think, yeah, I think here with the queen's probably best. Let's do this. So we're not really allowed to rely on Zugzwang, obviously. So we have to make something happen. I think pushing here is the best option. And I think we're winning this board, which means we have to be really careful about this board here. I can't really afford to lose this one. I'd have to win these two boards if I want to make anything happen here. Okay, but he takes. So now I'm going to take with queen. Now we're at least winning the rook, at least on this board. Actually, this might put us into like a threefold repetition territory, although that's not exactly what would happen. It wouldn't be a draw. Actually, no, I think we'd still be fine. Okay, but toggled actually moving his knight now, threatening the same thing to win the queen. This wins a lot more than the queen to be exact. And again, I really have to make something happen on this board. So we have two boards now that are kind of in this awkward, like technically not done state. Okay, well, so I think I have to take the pawn, at least for now. So let's do that. We take with the king's pawn. There are some threats here. Okay, interesting. So he takes with this king's pawn as well. This does create this threat I was talking about. I think after, so after takes and takes, that's not looking great for us. In fact, I think that's maybe forced because like even if we push here and then try to take, we're losing our king first. So that's not going to work. We can go here maybe to, yeah, actually, yeah, this works. So it's a knight sack. After takes, we take back with this pawn and maybe it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. I was thinking maybe we could block here, but I think the same thing happens kind of regardless. That is our best try. It at least delays that. After this, you can't go here. So you have to go here first. Then if takes, oh, then we can actually move this here. Yeah, okay. It might still be forced to mate. I'm not sure, but let's do this. Let's move our knight. All right, Toggle takes it with his pawn. Let's see. So now I take here. I believe that opens up. So after this, we have this. Then of course, after this, so that's the only real continuation in that is just a trade. So let's take here. Yeah, so I think we might have salvaged that board, which is nice. So let's see. So if he goes here, I come here, like I said, 
takes with horse takes takes and takes with check before okay so he does go for this queen move so now i come here oh okay so now i'm seeing the problem with this actually wait so he moves here i don't think that's a very good move i just take here right then what he has this move but i don't think that does too much okay so yeah if we take with king and toggle thinks he's a tactic here let's see what it is okay so he goes here with the knight this is a double check so it looks like he is likely winning is he winning though i guess we'll see yeah so it's double check let's go here oh and this is actually checkmate i just realized wow yeah he plays the bishop here and just nothing i can do so obviously here knight takes can't pin or anything obviously yeah so this one's over too so now i really have to go for these boards over here that's literally my only way to win at this point let's try something different on these boards let's go for this knight's pawn first okay so he responds with this queen's pawn over here so it's the same kind of setup i think here just preventing the knight move let's do that now toggle to opening up on another board same move with the queen's pawn that's not a pawn that we're particularly worried about so he does have these two so this one should really be the battleground here but what do i even do i guess let's push here so we can get that check that would be really nice. Okay, Toggle pushes this pawn, which stops me from getting this check. I'm wondering if I can maybe get away with this. I think we did something similar on a, a different board. So I think that's, does that start with the pawn move? Yeah, yeah, it definitely starts with the pawn move. Let's take with pawn. Then if it takes with the knight, we pin it. Oh, but that would put this in a vulnerable spot, but I think that's okay. Okay, so we takes with the knight, and of course, we're going to pin it with our bishop. So now, of course, we're threatening just takes 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 can't come here although you could maybe do this and then this that would save the checkmate threat okay so he does take the pawn with his bishop so now i think we just take the knight and that should be fine although actually no this should be okay yeah let's take the knight with our knight okay he takes my knight with his pawn so now we take with our bishop and then what i'm not exactly sure we might have a similar situation i am worried a bit about this check with the pawn but i think we'll be okay he moves his bishop to block the check now i think we just go for this and then when we take here that'll be check so this is a line i was looking at a long time ago earlier in the video uh, let's just take the rook and i guess see what happens oh actually wow it's gonna be check when he takes my it'd be great if he took my rook right away but i don't think he's going to okay yeah so he takes with the queen this does put me in check my only move is this wow that's actually horrible for me this might just be the game so i obviously can't go here my only move is to block then he has this and I'm just losing the rook, and he has a queen. I guess, I mean, yeah, there's really nothing. So at that point, I'm pinned. Dang, yeah, this might just be game. Our only hope, maybe, is to go here after the, obviously, the bishop move. That at least keeps our rook on the board. Although it's pinned, so yeah, that just falls for this. Obviously, he moves his bishop here, pinning my queen. Let's so maybe go here. At the very least, we can just dip out of here. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so he takes. This is check. I think I'm just gonna move here. Yeah, there's not really any room for my... I guess I could move up as well. This would let my rook get in a bit. Then there's this. Here, this takes. And here is not quite checkmate, but might as well be. Yeah, so I can't do that. I think we just have to go here. So let's do that. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's moving his bishop down here now. And I think checkmate is not immediately mate, but I think think it is really soon but this importantly isn't a check so like this would at least stall the game out although let's see so we could do this that kind of blocks things off if he takes with bishop then we have a chance to play this i don't know and again if we go here then this we have this then down here here it's not quite forced to me i don't think yeah so this is our only chance to block does having that square well no because it's defended here so i don't think that really matters okay i guess let's just go here again i don't think anything works but maybe our best shot okay so obviously he takes with the queen and now i think we have to go here so let's do that oh a move i didn't even think about was just queen here again that's not checkmate he takes with the pawn so now i have to go here and then what of course he checks me with the queen i think let's let's play a dumb meme move and just attack the king with the king you never know all right and so toggle takes the king with his king he decides not to take it with his queen so that is officially another board for him now we have these where it's just forced me so i guess let's go here with our king let's take the knight obviously all of this is forcing but at the very least we have a way to get out of this checkmate if he doesn't move on that board okay of course he takes with the pawn and now yeah so we have no moves that keep us from check so it's obviously resignable let's push the pawn as a last hurrah and he officially plays rook takes king giving him a tic-tac-toe so that'll do it for this video. I definitely messed up quite a bit, but I think this concept worked out pretty well. Anyways, make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and leave a like and a comment letting me know what you want to see next. 
Also, shout out to my channel members, Toast, Cohen, Toby, and Toxic Goat. If you want to join this list, a membership is a great way to support what I'm doing here. So if you'd like to and are able to, I'd really appreciate it. But with that being said, I hope to see you in the next video.